Welcome back everyone, Dan Vega here with another tutorial and today we're talking about hosting static websites. Uh, more specifically, we're going to talk about setting up uh, Amazon's web services and using S3 to host our website. So Amazon has this service called S3 which is used for storage, but what I didn't know is that you can actually use it to host a static website. So here we're looking at a new website that I just built. Call, uh, the domain for that is LearnSpringBoot.com. And I just needed a simple one-page site that I can send potential customers, whether it's through ad programs or my YouTube videos. I needed somewhere to send them other than my blog. So I wanted to put this one-page site together. And I didn't want to do this in WordPress or anything. I wanted just a simple, easy, static site that wasn't gonna cost me a lot and that would load really fast and, and just have some great information on here. So I'm gonna use Amazon's web services as I said and we're gonna walk through setting this all up today. So I actually didn't build this from scratch, I actually grabbed a template off of Wrap Bootstrap and in everything that we go through today I'll go ahead and include in the description below. Um, but I grabbed this theme from Wrap Bootstrap just to give me like a nice start and if you want to see the source code for this, uh, it's over on my GitHub repository. So let's start with Amazon. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go to aws.amazon.com and I'm going to sign into my council here. And we'll go ahead and sign in. And when I get to this, uh, I want to go down to S3. So I'm jumping into my S3 account and it's going to show me all of the buckets that I have created. So I now have three websites that I am hosting on here. And I think in the last like year or however long I've been using it for my nonprofit stuff, I have like a total bill of like three or five cents or something. So it's like extremely uh, affordable to use. So I already have this created, but what you're gonna wanna do is hit create bucket. And the first thing you wanna do is make sure that you name it exactly like your domain name. So in my case, you know, make sure you're using the www.domainname.com or whatever it is. And we'll look at an option of how we can still set up um, the non W. So if somebody just typed in learn, learnspringboot.com, how can we use that as well? So we'll look at that in a little bit. But once you get that created, you're going to be taken into the properties for this. And so the first thing we need to do is go down to permissions and edit bucket policy. And you need to put something like this into this editor here. The only thing that would change is whatever your domain name is, you'll want to put that here. So I will go ahead and drop this in the description below. So just copy this and paste this in here with your own domain name and then save this out. Next, you want to go down to static website hosting and you want to enable website hosting and Whatever your index document is, mine in this case is just index.html. Then what you want to do is go ahead and upload your content. You can use it, um, you can do so right in S3 here. You can just upload, create folders, um, do all kinds of stuff. Or you can use any other program. You know, I use Transmit on the Mac and I, I can connect to my S3 account from there and, and manage all my files there. So once you have that in place, what you want to do is just check this to make sure that everything's working. So if I open this up, this should be my exact same site, but this is the URL uh, that Amazon has given to us. So you'll just want to check that out. So now that we have that side of things working, what we need to do now is focus on the domain name, right? So I'm going to go over to my domain names and sign in. And let's go ahead and look at our domains and I'm going to pull up. So there's learn spring book. I'm going to go into manage DNS. So when we were back in the S3 council and we checked this URL, this URL is going to be pretty important. So go back over here, copy this URL and then let's go to wherever we're managing our domain name. Um, go into DNS and all you're going to add is a www record that points to that particular URL. So in my case, I just changed it to that. Um, in that scenario, uh, we would now be good to go. Once that propagated, we could go to our domain name www.learnspringboot.com and we can hit our static site. Um, so there's one more trick here. We need to be able to do it if 
they don't type in a www, right? So if they just hit that, we want it to forward over to the dub 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 version. So to do that, I'm gonna include another link here. Um, <clears throat> it's basically called a naked domain. And I'm not gonna go through all the specifics of it here. There's some really good information on this page. But what it boils down to is you can use them to forward your, or basically redirect your naked domain. So the only way that you do that, uh, if you look in here, they say to go ahead and use a pointer to their IP address. So in their case, this is the IP. So I, what I, all I did was go into my DNS settings for this particular domain and change the at record to point to that particular uh, IP address. And so with those two things in place, you should be good to go. So I think that's it. Um, we're going to wrap this up, but I hope this was helpful in setting up Amazon S3 to host a static website.